Hey guys, uh, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is about uh, uh, anti-conversion drugs, first line and the second line. Okay, our first choice, the second choice of uh, drugs used in the treatment of uh, seizures. Okay, so before starting this, I will request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe to our channel. Okay, let me start with this. The first there is a spelling error okay I'm sorry for that first choice of the drug uh, in a patient with a partial seizure uh, let's start with the partial seizure uh, the first line of drug is carbamazepine and phenytoin okay so um, um, in other type of generalized seizures like a tonic clonic absence myoclonic and ertonic seizures carbamazepine is a first line in the tonic clonic seizures okay so rest like in an absent seizure, the first line of the drug is ethosuximide and the sec and uh, even valproate can be used. But if you have to choose in between ethosuximide and valproate, choose ethosuximide, okay? For a myoclonic, uh, the first line of drug is uh, valproate. I recently uploaded a video on uh, valproate. Just go ahead with it. Just watch that video. Uh, and the ertonic er and clonic uh, type of generalized seizure, yeah, valproate is the first line of drug. Okay, so carbamazepine is the first line of drug in the partial seizure and um, tonic clonic seizures. So remember about the two things. Okay, so valproate is a drug of choice. There's the first line of drug used in the treatment of myoclonic seizure, atonic or clonic seizures. Okay, so uh, this is very very important. Uh, you should remember about. Okay. So um, there are other type of uh, okay let, uh, later I will discuss second choice drugs in like, you know, a partial seizures is valproate, phenobarbital, topiramate, lamotrigine, vigabatrine, and gabapentin. So these are the second line of drug used in treatment of partial seizure. Okay, um, in a tonic clonic seizure of a second drug choice is a phenobarbital. I recently uploaded a video on a phenobarbital. Uh, Lamotrigine and topiramate can be used. Uh, for absent seizures, remember about the absent seizure because um, we think that they give the option of ethosuximide. Sometimes they can, they won't give you this ethosuximide or valproate. You need to choose. That's why you have to remember the other drugs like uh, clonazepam, uh, lamotrigine, and uh, topiramate. Okay, so uh, this is very very important. Uh, what I'm discussing about uh, right now. Okay, the in a myoclonic seizures, the first line is we know valproate and the clonazepam, and the second choice is phenobarbital, lamotrigine, or topiramate. So just remember, lamotrigine and topiramate are coming together in a generalized seizures. Okay, uh, as a second choice of drug in a atonic, clonic, clonazepam, nitrazepam, topiramate, and lamotrigine can be used. So this is about the uh first line and the second line of drug used in the treatment of uh, seizures with the different seizures the other two things are like uh, febrile seizures so there's the first choice is a diazepam rectal okay that's the scene in the um, neonates uh infants okay just what you need to do is just type febrile seizure by all and law or mrc pch team you will get the video on that that's very important if you're appearing for a, any pediatric board examination uh, like MRCPCH and other board examinations. Okay, for status epilepticus, the first line of drug is a diazepam. Remember, this is the first line of drug is a diazepam. Okay, that should be given IV. And the other first drug other than the diazepam is a clonazepam. Clonazepam, okay. So, second choice of drug in a status epilepticus is a phenytoin and a phenobarbitone. Okay, for phenobarbital, okay. And the alternative drugs are paraldehyde, general anesthesia, as the steps you should know the steps in the management of the patients with the status epilepticus okay guys uh, thank you so much for watching my video take care